Okay, so I'm so poor that I literally cannot buy enough buckets for the Piscarilius favor. I'm like so close, yet so far. Hopefully this is going to be enough. We'll see. Okay, so turns out it's actually enough. And there it is. 100% Piscarilius favor. So now I'm going to slowly get Lovakenj and probably just lastly finish Shazian favor. So I'm going to slowly work towards that. I think... All I need to do is wait for the Lovakenge charcoal to be burning, or to finish burning. In the meantime, I'm just going to find something else to do, I guess. Something that's actually worth points. And here we go. Okay, so I guess the next grind that I think is going to get me a lot of points. I mainly just want to get some of the relics. I don't want to do, like all the favor right away I mean there's no real rush to the favor it doesn't really give me that much in terms of uh, things I'm gonna be neat actually needing later on and one of those things are the actual relics themselves which I'm planning on getting the artisan perk I think it's gonna be pretty decent um, especially for herblore I've done a little bit of herblore I should have waited Considering I've been doing a little bit of farming, I farmed all my seeds at work, literally. I would just hop on on my phone and just get some herbs every, like, five minutes or every time I, like, went to the washroom. It was pretty crazy, dude. This game mode is sucking up my life, and it's not good. It's so addicting. Oh, my God. But, man, this perk is so good. The farming tick cycle... And the extra yield that you get from herbs is amazing. I'm going to have so many prayer pots and just so many pots. Like, I think from all the seeds that I've gotten from farming uh, master farmers, I've, like, I think I have at least, like, 55 to 60 herb lore banked. And I've only been farming stuff that are, like, pretty reasonable to get, such as, like, Harlanders... Irrits, stuff like that. Those are the reason why I say those are realistic is because the secondaries are sort of easy to get. I mean, once I start farming contracts, I can get snape grass and I can get white berries, so catatines are going to be really good later on. And if I do pick the clue perk, I realize that I can get like wines of Zami and stuff like that. I might consider starting to farm uh, Zamorak grapes. I know that's a reward from Tithe Farm. Which is going to be what I'm going to be doing next. So, yeah. Tithe Farm is pretty easy so far. I mean, with the bonus XP, the 5 times XP that you get, I mean, it makes it pretty worthwhile. I think I'm going to be here until I get all the rewards. And I calculated it. With all the points that I'm going to be needing to get, I should hit at least 90 farming. So... I assume that's going to make me like top page farming, we'll see, but that's going to give me a nice quick shortcut to getting a lot of points really quickly, and I'm going to get a lot of seeds from the farming guild, which it's going to be a little bit of a grind doing this, but I think like even at 34 you can get like pretty big XP drops, so I mean we're, we'll see, I'm doing my first run. And, I mean, you all you get points for everything here. You get points just for planting 100 of each seed. So, by the time I get all the rewards, I'm going to have so many points. I think I calculated it to be at least 1,000 points. That's including some of the farming guild stuff, like the 85 and maybe some of the farming contracts later on. But, yeah, that's going to be something I'm going to be grinding. So, this is going to be my life for, like, the next 20 hours. Oh, look at that XP drop. 45k. That's not including the harvest, the 100 harvest that you get, which is a little bit of bonus XP there. But once I slowly start getting all the pieces, I'll get a little bit more XP. But closing in on the next seed, which is at like 52 or 54. I'm going to do a quick herb run 
and I'll be back in the tithe farm. Oh, there's goblins here. I had no idea. And the first item I can finally get, which is the farming boots. 50 points in. I probably need like 600 more points. The thing that sucks about this minigame is every time you leave, you won't go back into the same room. Well, there, there's a chance you can, but majority of the time, it's going to be someone else doing the f tithe farm and man oh man there's a lot of people that don't know how to do tithe farm it's surprising but then again this is a pretty dead mini game i mean this is probably the most active this mini game has ever been and the instances definitely help i mean with the amount of people i mean it doesn't take that long to find a new instance even on like peak times it's it's really easy oh my first random the pillory guard. I don't even know what I can get from this. Oh god, I, I escaped. I, I, I have officially escaped. Wow. You, you, you heard it here first, guys. I escaped the Twisted League area. Oh man, did I mess up? Did I really mess this up? Who messes up this random? Jesus. What did, what did I even click on? I guess I just... I, <laughs> oh my god, dude. Aw, oh, coins. Damn. Alright. Well, back to thieving. And finally, new relic unlocked. Hell yeah, man. Honestly, every time I pick a relic, I'm always like second-guessing myself, but I think this was a decent choice. Hopefully not the worst. I think I'm gonna have a good use from it, so we'll see. Whew. Okay. Big milestone. 85 farming. That's the highest tier at the farming guild and a lot of big stuff. I completely forgot that Celestial Bark exists. That might be a pretty decent way to get crafting. Oh wait, actually never mind. Considering you can't get orbs unless I believe Banshees might drop orbs. But ah, never mind. I thought that was going to be a pretty good way to get um xp i think if you just fletch them you might get crafting xp i'm not a hundred percent sure but all right let's go final stretch i'm almost 90 I'm, i can feel it yes it's finally over 90 and 450 points oh my god so this is actually perfect so i think this was worth it because once i get a redwood seed that's like another 500 points that I'm going to get for planting a redwood. So when I get those farming contracts, oh, I'm going to hope I get one of those. But look at that seed box. Okay, and the Gricola's farming can is pretty trash. I don't know why that's on there. On there. What, what they should have added is the auto weed thing. I think that should at least give like 10 points, but that's not even a, a relic task. So I'm just going to not get that. Uh, but if I need to, I can always just go back. Maybe if I want some Zamorak grapes or something. But for now, I'm going to just leave that. And I'm going to finally get this charcoal out of here. Oh my god. I should have done this like a long time ago. But now I can start getting the Lovakenj favor. Man, I've been putting this off for so long. And I think that's like what, what, I, what, what, what I'm just going to do during this entire seasonal. It's like if there's something in between that I feel like getting that's along the way of something else, I'm probably going to do that first. So that's probably going to be a pretty big pattern throughout these vid videos. Oh, I can't catch this gourmet. I thought I had the hunter level. Um, but yeah, I guess the next thing is I'm going to probably just start... I'm just going to do one more farming run and then just start getting Lovakin's favor by making dynamite. I should have a lot of supplies, but... Oh man, look at all of these herb supplies that I've gathered. This is all like from work. Literally going to the bathroom at work and going on my phone, getting those herbs and and going back to work. <laughs> this game mode, man. This game mode. I don't know how much XP this is, but I'm just going to keep stocking up until I can like if I have time to AFK, I'll probably make all those pots. But for now, let's go get some Lovakenj favor. Whew, okay. Man, that dynamite was kind of hard to make. It felt like I was fletching darts or something. Okay, now I'm going to finish the Lovakenj quest and deliver the minecart controls, and that should get me to 100%. 
Okay, quest complete. Man, my stats are drained. But this is good because I'm only one smithing. I don't have to worry about anything. So this quest should give... Wait, how come I didn't... I guess the artisan doesn't work with quests. Unless artisan or smithing is not a part of artisan. I'm not sure. But I could have sworn I should have gotten... 50k XP or 5k XP not 2.5 yeah sorry not 50k that's crazy um, but oh man another page added that's a that's gonna be a pretty decent teleport I guess um, I guess now I think I'm gonna just do some smithing I've had these ores for such a long time I've been waiting to do this quest because I refuse to make bronze bars for smithing so I've got a lot of iron and a little bit of coal that I got, but hopefully this gets me a decent high smithing level. So, so the things I'm going to make with these bars for now are nails, a little bit of arrow tips for fletching, and the rest are just going to be knives for range because I'm only one range. So, oh, and the reason why I need nails is for the beginning of construction, and apparently it's terrible. Uh, if you want to just buy your own and there are a few places to get them, but Yeah, I'd rather not mess with shops. I've already messed with the baker shop trying to get chocolate bars and that wasn't fun so Yeah, okay, so for the plan I think for right now now that I finished the tithe farm pretty much completely other than I can just get 99 farming um, I'm gonna slowly start getting my hunter up, but the main things that I want is I want to get ready for Winter Todd. Winter Todd is going to be a lot of points that I've, I've, I'm, not, I'm not even 50 fire making yet. So I'm going to make my way to raids, deliver the controls, get 50 fire making ice demon. And then along the way, I'm probably going to do maybe some aerial fishing, get the golden tench, maybe grind for that, get some decent hunter from that for sure. I know there's going to be a lot of points we're getting a lot of the rewards from that and I think once I'm done that hopefully I can have my fourth relic I want to have my fourth relic before I start slayer that way I can get a ton of clue scrolls and I want to slowly start banking 99 construction because I think that's going to be really good and clue scrolls are going to get me a lot of money with nature runes and rune items I think it's going to be a pretty decent pick but anyways, I'm going to end the video here. Let me know what you guys think and what kind of relics are you guys picking uh, throughout this seasonal. But as always, if you guys did enjoy, subscribe, like, and hopefully there's going to be a new episode soon of this Twisted League series. So, man, this game mode is hella awesome. If you haven't tried it, definitely try it out. It's never too late. It's two months long. Definitely try it. Anyways, peace.